So this is just step one of me signing up for Google Analytics. And I'm going to the Google Analytics website. And we'll just pretend I don't already have an account. So I have to create a new Google account by typing in my email address. and a password. And you'll notice that Google checks to make sure that your password is going to be sufficiently secure. Then I click I accept. And that all took about 30 seconds to one minute. And when we're all ready and Google has sent me the verification email, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've received my verification email and I'm going to click this to tell Google that I am indeed who I say I am. Now notice I already verified a moment ago just to make absolutely sure it was going to work before I filmed this, but uh, it is verified. So now I can click here to continue and I can sign in using my new account. and I'm now logged in to Google Analytics. I now have my account set up. I just have to get Google Analytics set up. So notice here's the first instruction. I have to sign up for analytics, which means putting in my web address. I'm putting in an account name. Clicking continue. I'll just put in my information. Sorry folks, you won't get my phone number that easy. It'll show me the terms and conditions. I can tell you there's nothing terribly unusual in there, but it pays to take a quick look. And I click Create New Account. Now this code that you see here is everything you need to make Google Analytics work. If you copy this, and you put this on every page of your website, you can do the basics that Google Analytics requires. Uh, if you do not have the ability to do this on your own, if you don't know how to program a website or you don't have direct access to your website code, all you have to do is contact your web hosting provider. This is not a difficult thing to set up and I'll show you here. So I'll click continue and you'll notice I have now set up my account but it says tracking for my website has not yet been validated because I've not put code in place on my site. And down here you'll see here's the conversation marketing profile that I just set up. The report, but it says tracking unknown and no conversion goals because it doesn't know how to get into any of that information. So I'll show you how to set that up right now. So in this case, my site is a blog. It uses a blogging tool, just like Blogger or any of those others. I'm using a movable type. So I'll click Templates. And notice here I am. Now I can go into my template pages one at a time, and I can add that JavaScript code that you just saw. And notice, this is if you don't know web programming, this is all gobbledygook. But just watch how easy it is for me to get this set up. All right, I just cut and pasted that in. I click Save and Rebuild. And as soon as this is done rebuilding this page, this code will be in place. And if I now go do this on every single one of the templates on my website, I'll be completely ready to go. For those of you who do know a little bit about web programming, obviously if you use header and footer files, you don't have to go through all this doing one page at a time. You can just go into a single file, add that code, and you're ready to go. For now, I'm just going to do it on two pages of my site. Now I'm going to rebuild those article pages just so you can see what it looks like with the code in place. I'm 
while that's doing that, just show you here that I can click check status. And because I had added that code to the home page of my website, Google Analytics now sees that it has the code correctly installed and it is now gathering data. Now one thing to know about Google Analytics is it is not real time. The data is not collected every second. Uh, Google Analytics collects data, I believe, two to three times per day. So when you first set this up and get all this running, you can expect it to be about 24 hours before you see any real data. So you'll see if I click View Reports here, there's no data. And there won't be probably until tomorrow morning. But I've now set everything up. I have Google Analytics up and running on my site. Again, if you do not know how to do this, if you need to have your webmaster do it, just refer them to this particular video if you'd like and show them what needs to be done. It is a very, very simple operation. Uh, that concludes the Google Analytics demonstration for today. Uh, next time I'll be doing a quick demonstration of what kind of data you should look for in your Google Analytics reports.